I want to tell you a story today. I want you to listen. Listen with your ears because this story is going to make you seem uncomfortable today. This story might make you question. It might make you reflect on yourself. I want you to listen to it. What are you going to do? Listen. listen. I want you to listen to me because this story requires you to understand who you are and why you're here. I want to apologize in advance that my story does not have humor. My story doesn't make you laugh. My story makes you think about yourself, reflect on who you are, and why you're here. What does it make you do? Reflect, reflect on, on yourself, yourself and why, why you're, you're here. here. Now, my story takes place a long, long time ago. It's so long ago it's older than you, you, all of you combined. It's so old that you might not even know what I'm talking about. The story that I'm going to tell you is a story of a Christian faith. The story that the Christian faith believes. The story that they listen because this story requires you to what? Listen. listen. I'm going to begin with the story. Hmm. One evening in the city of Sodom. What city is it? Sodom. Sodom. Two angels. They entered the city of Sodom. And when they entered, in the gateway, they saw a man. His name was Lot. What was his name? Lot. Lot wasn't caught up with confusion of seeing these two angels because he understood their purpose. He knew why they were here. And immediately, he came up to them and he said, My lords, turn your servant aside. You may wash your feet, stay at my home, and be on your way early in the morning. The two angels, they looked at each other, and then they looked at Lot. And one of them said to Lot, no, we shall stay here in the square. But Lot persisted that these two angels stay at his house. They persisted that they stayed with him because he wanted their blessing, because he knew why they were there. Therefore, he wanted them to stay. What did he want them to do? Stay. stay. And so it happened. In fact, Lot was so excited that the two angels had stayed at his house, he made a home-cooked meal for them. He made bread without yeast. Ooh, their favorite. <laughs> the aroma of the bread was so good. And so, what they did, they ate. They ate. And ate. <laughs> but just before they were going to bed, Every single person in the city of Sodom, whether they were young, whether they were old, whether they were great, 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 great grandmothers, great grandfathers, God's sons, God brothers, God mothers, fathers in law, mothers in law, they all surrounded Lot's house. What did they surround? Lot's, Lot's house. house. They all surrounded Lot's house. The crowd was very curious, and they were wondering why there were two angels in his house. They wanted the blessing too. But see, one detail that I forgot to mention was that the city of Sodom was a corrupt city. They ate, they drank, and they did all the things that were evil. And see, the crowd chanted, Bring out the two men that are with you! Bring them out so we can do terrible things to them! <laughs> Love was not going to let them drink his wrath. See, Lot, he was smart. He was peculiar. And he understood why the crowd was like this, because they weren't like him. Lot and the people of Sodom were different. And so what had happened was, Lot stepped out, and he said to them, My friends, please, do not do this wicked thing to them. They have come under the protection of my roof. I have two daughters inside. I will send them out. And you may do as you please, but please do not hurt them. And so what had happened was, immediately, the two angels, they grabbed Lot, they brought him inside. And the two angels, they went out and they struck every single person in the city of Sodom. Whether they were young, whether they were old, whether they were great, great, great grandmothers, great grandfathers, fathers-in-law, daughters-in-law, sons-in-laws, god-brothers, god-sisters, they were all struck with blindness so that they could not see Lot went inside, and he stood with the angels. But he understood why this had happened. He understood why this had happened. 
But then, Lot suddenly heard a man. A man so daring, a man so evil, a man who had the words of a slithering snake, a man who thought he was proud and perfect. In the crowd, a man so bold, he said to Lot, Ha! This man came as a foreigner, and now he thinks he can play the judge? Get out of the way! Inside, inside the house of Lot, are all of his servants, were all of his maidservants, his daughters, his brothers, his sons, his sons-in-law, every single person in the house of Lot, they were waiting in silence. Because what did they do? They Wait. waited in silence. They listened. listened. See then, the angels looked at Lot and they said, Do you have them out of here. A lot began to pace. He paced. He paced. Not only did he knew what was going on, but he was trying to think of a plan, a devious plan. He was a different group from the ones who were in the city of Sodom. He was separated from them. So he thought of a plan. So quickly and immediately, as he heard this from the angels, he ran! He ran! He ran to his godson. And he said, Hurry, my children! The city of Sodom will be destroyed! We have to leave immediately! <laughs> but his two godsons, who had promised to marry his children, they laughed at Lot. They ridiculed him. They thought he was a joke. This man thinks Sodom will be destroyed. He like a fine city such as Sodom can be destroyed, Lot. And they looked at him. And their mouths and their words, too, were cunning as a slithering snake like the man. And so Lot knew. He gave up on them. And quickly, he ran. He got his wife. He got his first daughter. And he got his second daughter. He brought them all. He brought them all together. And he said, My family, let us pray. He kneeled down with them. After he had prayed, after he had prayed, decided that he would flee with his children and his wife because they were the ultimate and only people who were separate from the people of Sodom. And so, as they were on their way to leave, Lot with his family, and on their way, on their way back, they met up with the two angels. They met up with the two angels, and the two angels said, flee. Flee and do not look back. He said, flee. Flee and do not look back. The city of Sodom was corrupt. If one looked back, God knows what happened to them. So what had happened was, a lot of his family, they flee. They flee. But then Lot remembered. The angel said to flee to the hills and to the mountains. But Lot, who was smart, smarter than all the other people, who knew what was going on, he knew what was going to happen if he had fleed to the mountains in the hills. He said to the angel, wait, please. Show me this mercy. If I go to the hills and the mountains, I too will be destroyed with my family. Please. There's a village over there. If you can reach it, I will show you grace and mercy. Like you have showed us grace and mercy. Go, flee, 
and do not look back. What do you say? Don't, don't look, look back. back. So it was. Lot, his family, turned around. They were on their way. They didn't look back. Lot, he never looked back. His children, they never looked back. But Mrs. Lot, her heart was not to flee out of the corrupt city. Her heart was still in the corrupt city, you see. She didn't understand why she had to flee from her corrupt city. Because all the corruption still she stayed with her. All the pleasures, all the drinking, all the money and the fame. She loved it all. And so while she was walking back, she looked back. And immediately she became a pillar of salt. And it was then that Lot and their two daughters had lost their mother and their wife. But their hearts, they were not in Sodom, like Mrs. Lot. Their hearts were not in Sodom. Their hearts and their plan was to leave Sodom because they knew it was a corrupt city. And when they left, they reached a village and they were shown mercy and grace like the angel had promised. And then the next morning, Father Abraham, he woke up. And as he woke up and stood up on the hill and looked at the plains, he could see far in the distance the city of Sodom and Gomorrah being destroyed. The ashes, you can still feel in the air. The brimstone, you can still smell. And we can still hear the cries of those who did it. What? Listen. Listen. And so there it was. The God of the Christian faith, he looked upon Lot. He looked upon Lot and his family. He looked upon Lot, his two kids, but he felt remorse for Mrs. Lot. Who what? Look back. back.